Security is all about mitigating risk. It is about making things more difficult, more challenging in order to get at your data or whatever a bad actor is after. Phones, this is second factor authentication going to a cell phone device or mobile phone, however you wanna call it. This is a great way to help mitigate that risk until some of these companies who make a poor choice to use SMS, even here in 2019, uh, as their second factor authentication. My preferred one is TOTP, time-based authentication. Many of the companies we use in the tech industry use that method of authentication. It's well documented and there's not much of a reason not to do it other than, well, lazy developers who think it would be greatly inconvenient to use TOTP authentication. Among those companies and who is acutely aware of this problem is Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's account was hacked. This just happened the other day, and it was hacked the same way that Shane Dawson, James Charles, King Bach, and many other YouTubers' accounts were hacked by uh, the alleged AT&T SIM swap. And AT&T, in their quest to be customer-oriented and very helpful, will, with a few questions at being answered, like, you know, like maybe date of birth and a couple things that they could easily find out by watching some YouTube videos or reading a profile right up about Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter, where you can find quite a bit about the CEO, um, then you can become Jack Dorsey. That is not good. And this is where I want to talk about Google Fi. I moved over to Google Fi in 2015. I feel much better that I've mitigated much of that risk because I was with Verizon before. And AT&T is not the only company in this list. Verizon, many other companies, there's people who have complained because you can call in, pretend to be the person with those few questions, and the customer service, customer service oriented nature of these companies sometimes lends them to being too helpful and not secure and not following proper procedures with the accounts. That being said, Google Fi. There is a risk that gets associated with the fact that if you get into my Gmail account, you also get into my phone account at the same time. But my experience with Gmail, my experience with people who have lost their passwords and lost, you know, the second factor authentication, Google does not. No matter how much you plead, beg, and bargain on the phone, when we have really gone to bat for a few clients who've made horrible choices of changing passwords, not remembering what they changed the password to, somehow immediately forgetting it and getting their accounts locked out, Google is not, even with business accounts, that helpful at getting back into those accounts. But that doesn't bother me. I've, he I've actually seen people complain about Google. Well, I lost my password and they were impossible to deal with, so I hate Google. I'm kind of confused by that because you would be the opposite of that if you had had your account taken over and couldn't get back in, but instead just losing your password, which is tragic, but you know certainly a problem. Uh, you do not want to have to deal with you know, getting uh, your account hacked or getting your SIM swapped, especially when it's tied to your bank account. And there is a current ongoing pending lawsuit where someone lost all their Bitcoin because the financial institution by which they held it had everything in uh, set up to for phone authentication, which is unfortunate. This happens in the banking industry or a lot of financial industries. And then they find out your phone number and then they call at and and then they become you and the mess continues. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Google Fi, been really happy with it. I know someone's going to point out, but Google's not a privacy-oriented company. Do you think at and or Verizon are? I'm talking about security, not privacy, two different subjects. I already know Google, you know, as much as data as they collect about you, but they do care a lot about keeping that data secure. And I feel they do a much better job of it than any of the big phone companies out there right now. Uh, so Google Fi, like I said, been using it for four years. I'm really happy with the coverage. I've been using it. First, I started on a Nexus 6P. I currently have a Pixel 2 XL. The coverage has been great. The service has been solid. The customer support, although not really needed, uh, if you want to reach out to them, they're easy to reach out to, but that as long as you have a Google account that you're signed into that's attached to the phone. That's one of the things. If you tried to just contact them, they don't really make it easy. So if you call and say, oh, I need help with my phone. Can you uh, send me another SIM? Google's not going to do that until you've authenticated against the account. That's one of the reasons I have been using Google Fi now for a few years is the security because, like I said, I don't get to choose. And some of these companies still use SMS backup you know, in, as an option. So I'm really happy with the service. I'm much more confident in security. I don't think any security is perfect, but I think it helps mitigate the risk a little bit. And uh, so that's my opinion of Google Fi. I'm still happy with the service after four years of using it. 
even more thrilled that I haven't had to deal with, and I'm hopefully, this is not a challenge, I'm hoping never to deal with, you know, getting my uh, cell phone number hijacked because that would just be a real pain in the butt. I'm gonna throw it out there, but I've seen it happen to a lot of other YouTubers and myself as I put more public information out there. I see password resets all the time coming to my accounts uh, for my email address and stuff like that where people are trying to poke at the security I have set up already. So I need to keep all this locked down. I hope it never happens to me, but if it does, I feel as though at least as of right now in 2019, Google Fi is the best option out there for the other cell phone companies. Nobody's perfect, but they seem to do it at least a little bit better. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.